Hello, hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you? This is Ali Jade, and I'm with Ascended Stars channel. No, um, YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. I'm so excited to be here with you and tell you what's going to be hopefully resonating in your love life. Let's put the timer on. Let's be very efficient, shall we? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have. All right, thank you so much for watching and being here with me all this time. If you're new, welcome. Welcome aboard. And I hope uh, you find it to your liking. <laughs> all right, so let's see, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Your opening energy. And then let's give you the rest. I don't want to... I think I'm going to get into it. I don't want to just stop and go. Oh, my word. You saw that. <clears throat> that was... Wow. Let's give it a shuffle. They're a little jumpy. Okay. So this deck definitely wants to speak with you. I was wondering, is this the one? And this is the one. <laughs> Why am I saying that? I don't know. All right. So let's see here. Let's get into it. My dears, we have the tower. Wow. Okay, we have the tower. Wow. Uh, uh. Um, nine twelve right now too. It's interesting. Okay. All right. So let's see. Some information's coming. It makes sense. It makes sense. Uranus is in Taurus. It moved in there. You know, I believe on the thirteenth of uh, this month so here you go here you go Uranus is in Taurus here you go now mind you this is a very soft version of the tower because it's actually an arch you see and then there's a road there's a road through that arch it kind of is a windy road it's not going to be a, a straight road you know, because that's how Uranus energy is. It doesn't give it to you, you know, it gives it to you quick and fast, and but not, not necessarily straight. Okay, so wow. Let's find out a little bit more about this energy, shall we? Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Someone is leaving a situation. Someone is regretting a situation. But I think they're leaving it because I see a distance. I see distance. Oh! <laughs> I mean, hi! Okay. Two of Cups. A beautiful Two of Cups energy. Celebration. Synergy. Um, a I, I, I feel like it's a comeback too, like it's a, but you know, it could be past life comeback. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow. Can we get any better than this? And then I finally see the roses, like little bits of rose, like red. I see, oh, that's the pink. I don't know what plant that is, but it's the leaves of that pink on his, on his blue. And I, this color blue, I saw for the masculine the first day of January. January 1st, I went on a hike and a lot of the, the we reached the top and then a lot of the, uh, actually there were older gentlemen uh, who were wearing that color. It was interesting along with the, the person I was hiking with. And then this is um, a new cycle, a new cycle, Taurus. You've already entered into the world of a new, being into the new cycle. You've entered into it. And this is the world card. Oh, wow. 21. 21. <sighs> Love. Love's here for you. Okay. And <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Look at your oracle cards. Caring connections. So there's no doubt. You know that uh, something special has is coming into your life. It has to do with a relationship. Has to do with romance, and 
happiness definitely a, a complete happiness here and evolution of somebody interested in you and you relishing it and knowing your value <gasps> so beautiful my word okay the two of cups <laughs> I love it and then you know they're giving you the advice make sure you're friends you know or you could meet it through a friend but I really think it has to do with an evolution of friendship so make a date for a play day with one or more friends you might meet them through your friends You might want to meet with your friends through a friend. Yeah, that's what I get. You guys might you might want to you might have a celebration and you go, oh yeah, I'm going to this thing. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so also, oh wow, this is so wonderful. So you have the cat energy as well, independence, healthy boundaries. So this is because you've done the work. You know, this is really what I feel like. Taurus has done the work. They have been working on themselves and they've been embodying the cat energy of you know let me let me come to you and then we have surrender to prayer give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive can I read yes <laughs> look how beautiful this card is answers and support will arrive but you have to ask you have to ask your angels ask God ask your guardian angels um, find the the silence in the day to do that I guess yeah definitely not I guess I know <laughs> okay so sp a lot of spiritualness here you know tan energy I see and then also this is really good that um, I got gratitude first but I was like a little bit you know concerned thinking okay she's pregnant and I don't want all my ladies to think that you know they're gonna get pregnant looking at this and then I got another purple card balance so you know the crown chakra it has to do with the crown chakra and the body mind the no just the body and the crown chakra well the crown chakra is at the uh, yeah and the heart everything aligned it's like a line you know what i mean the chakra so it's amazing that you guys are like working it out you're getting the connection you want and it's based on something real friendship you know it's <laughs> It's, and it's about caring you guys are all about caring five five is the catalyst energy to me and then we have Uranus which is the catalyst energy of, of change as well and there is regret here but like I said like it looks like it's a distance you know it you've worked on it it looks like you've worked on it and you've entered this new world now Wow so let me give you your, um, we'll go with the romance deck and then we can do the Angela Hurtful. Journey of Love. Okay, let's see. For my Taurus, what is the best card for my collective Taurus? This might happen quickly. It might evolve quite quickly. <laughs> this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Whoa, this could be like a comeback kid. <laughs> no, this could not kid. This could be the comeback. Whoa, okay, this is intense. No way, no way. Somebody might, you already know them? Mm, yeah, okay, that's not. You already know this person, Taurus. Think, think, think. All right. Let's see here. And then we'll do the next. What What else do we got? And I don't 
think. I do. Okay. I just want to make sure. So it's about a friendship. Yeah, you know them. They're your friends. They're one of your friends. Hey, maybe they're one of your friends right now. And you don't know yet. This is going to happen quickly, right? Uranus energy. You already know them, but. <gasps> okay, so we have the full moon in Aquarius on the 24th. You won't believe it. Two of these came out for you, Taurus. The first one says, back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to re-evaluate what you want. Really? Okay, that's beautiful. Oh, I love these cards. I can just stare at them forever. And uh, okay, and then the second one was look at your patterns. <laughs> no pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. <gasps> this is intense. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the, the last note, but it looks beautiful. But there is work to do, I guess, before before it really manifests or this is what you're going through hmm you know you'll work it out gratitude and balance Taurus always works it out you know it's gonna be okay we have these beautiful energies that are awaiting you around the corner just as you're entering this new cycle okay this new cycle new world the world card so this is oh it's just like you know you guys might have a lot to do with animals your animals you know uh energy might be really strong your animal spirit um you'll get through it okay so remain true remain true to you and you'll find true love i guess all right taurus talk to you soon take care bye bye